SOS Audio Solutions are based on the science of psychoacoustics. What is psychoacoustics and how do SRS as engineers utilize it? Well, if you look at traditional audio technology, it's very electromechanical. We want to get the, the amplifier to have the best possible frequency response. Uh, we want to have distortion as low as possible. We want a certain amount of power so we can get a level, a sound pressure level in the room. We want the speakers to be flat. We want to do all kinds of things. Um, so we're perfecting the electrical and mechanical aspects of audio reproduction. And those principles were basically conceived in, in 1934 at Bell Labs. And they haven't moved since then. And surround sound is just kind of stereo with more speakers. Mm -hmm. So you still have the limitations of sweet spot. You still have the limitations of the fact that the sound appears to be coming from speakers and not immersing you. So psychoacoustics integrates the ear brain system with the whole reproduction chain where we understand a lot more about how the ear brain system works, the hearing system works compared to what they understood in 1934 at Bell Labs. We know that we have incredible spatial hearing, that the average person can resolve horizontal azimuth to an accuracy of about one degree and vertical elevation to an accuracy of about eight to ten degrees. Now how do we do that with only two ears? Psychoacoustics is the science of understanding how do we do that with only two years and then taking advantage of that mechanism to render sound in a much more realistic and, and immersive way than traditional reproduction methods. If you look at stereo, it takes advantage of very simple, just as an example, it takes a very advantage of very simple aspects of the, of the hearing system. If something's louder on the left, it seems to be on the left. If it's on, louder on the right, I mean, this is a simplification. There's other things at work. But if it's louder on the right, it seems to be on the right. Well, that is, extend that now further to how we do spatial imaging, how the ear brain system does spatial imaging. And that's really the basis of psychoacoustics. Uh, one discriminating factor about psychoacoustics is the, the, the perception is completely rendered in the brain. You can't take a microphone, I mean you, you can take true surround and you can hear something coming from behind you, thunder or a jet flying over or something like that, and you know it's coming from behind you. But if you put a microphone behind you, you're not going to suddenly measure sound pressure level increasing back there. So again, it's a total integration of the ear brain system with the reproduction system.